This program is proudly brought to you by Inglis, Australia's leading thoroughbred auctioneer. Buy success, buy Inglis. Hey, very good morning. Tim Gilbert here. We are in Melbourne live and of course we uh, half joked yesterday about how perfect the Melbourne weather was when it was 31 degrees yesterday. It's about 17 today. Still nice. But uh, we are at the Inglis premier sale, of course, for yearlings, and uh, I'm joined by Jonathan Darcy from Inglis. It's, it's been a good couple of days. It has been, Tim. Really happy with the, uh, the results thus far. Of course, we've still got, we're about halfway through the sale thus far, but yesterday's results were really pleasing. We sold the third highest priced yearling ever in Victoria for 725000 Averages are up around 15 or 16%, so averaging about 135000 and clearance rates sitting at 80%, so all in all, all those indicators are pretty strong. Just a reminder, this was a sale about 15 years ago that a tick over $200,000 a horse called, you might remember it, Black Caviar was sold right at these sales. Now the coronavirus getting a, a, a bit more serious in our time, uh, affecting dialogue, rhetoric and a lot more right around the world. How did it impact here? Look, I suppose in the lead up to the sale, Tim, we were very concerned. I mean, we do a lot of marketing up in Southeast Asia, Hong Kong and, and mainland China are very strong markets for us. What we found is obviously with the travel ban from mainland China, we probably lost four or five buyers that were booked to come down. But Hong Kong's still been pretty strong. We've got about 30 individuals who have come down from Hong Kong. We've got one, la one mainland Chinese buyer who's been out here for about six weeks. So he jumped in ahead of the travel ban. He bought horses up in Sydney, he bought horses in New Zealand, and now he's here purchasing. He sees a little bit of niche there because... He knows that his fellow um, owners up in mainland China are going to want to buy horses later in the year. So his plan is actually to run these horses back through, break them in and then sell them at our ready to race sale in, uh, in October. So that could work. When you talk about the thoroughbred industry, we can talk internationally and just bring it back to a, a nicer feel. It is for everyone. Like yesterday we had a real carnival atmosphere. There were, there were families uh, and anyone who is interested in getting the, the slightest share of a horse can do it. I think that's where the love of horses come from. And you bring family out, it's the same at the races. You see young people at the races. And I think they, they get that sort of um, flavour going. If they like the horses, and uh, once again, you know, kids going to pony clubs are a great start. But once again, we see here on a Sunday, the agents and the trainers love to get their, their owners out because once you can touch and feel a horse, you're more inclined to have that extra bid. So as auctioneers, we see that a lot on a Sunday. We'll see them going that extra bid because beside them, they're saying, yeah, no, have another one, have another one, Tony McAvoy, David Hayes. You and so it works really well for us. I know you've got to get back in the ring and uh, get, let your mellifluous tones do their work as an auctioneer. Everyone is looking for that little 2% of a new black caviar. Thanks, Jonathan. Good on you, Tim. Nice to have you here. Yeah, great to be here.